Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you my basic editing workflow. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course in Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. All right, hopefully you're at the exact same spot I am. You've created a Premiere Pro project, you've set up a couple preferences, and you've imported your media. If you haven't, stop this, go back, follow along, and, and get set up. Now, if you are in this same spot with me, then we're ready to get going. And I want you to actually kick back, just listen to this one, and then I will go through how to do this again, step by step, nice and slowly. All right, so this is the basic editing workspace workflow that I use, I'd say 80% of the time. And basically what it is, is think of it as making a salad and your project panel is like a refrigerator. Each one of these is a piece of vegetable. So for example, um, let me say this falls wide shot is my head of lettuce. So I'm going to double click on my head of lettuce and I'm going to bring it up here to my cutting board. On my cutting board, I can scrub through this. And when you get to the point where you're doing it, you're going to actually hear the sound of the falls. Uh, so you might want to turn your volume down. It's pretty loud when you're this close to the waterfall. So let's say I want to start it right here where you can see the, the building. So I'm going to set my in point. So these two buttons here are really important. This is the mark in button and this is the mark out button. And by the way, before you take the exam, go through and make sure that you know all of these buttons. I'll provide you with a study guide, but you need to memorize what these buttons are. And the best way to memorize them is to simply use them. Okay, so I'm going to set the end point and you'll notice that it instantly just put a gray, lighter gray bar in here. So that's what I'm going to keep. And I don't want this entire clip. And in fact, right now it would be nine seconds long and that's too long. So let's go, I don't know, right about here. And I'm going to hit the out button and you can see now it's five seconds long. So at any time you can grab these little blue handles at the end and scrub them and they will change your new. So let's say I want to change my new endpoint to about that spot. And now it's a three second clip. So you can see at any time you can resize your clip by dragging on these things, or you can move your current time indicator, this blue thing to a specific spot and set the out point. Now, for example, let's say I knew I wanted this to be at exactly five seconds. I wanted the out to be at exactly five seconds. I can actually click right here on this number. It's the playhead position. Click on it, type in five and then zero, zero for my frames or 500 and see how it jumps right to that spot. And then I can hit the mark out button and boom, now it's exactly at that spot. Let's say I want this to be exactly three seconds. Well, okay, if this is five seconds, I'm going to go to exactly two seconds here set my endpoint, and now I should have approximately three seconds. It does uh, go one frame over, so I could just click on that and move it over to one frame, and now it's exactly three seconds. So that's how you trim off the bad parts of your clip. That's really important that you understand that. Now, the next step in the process is to put your, your lettuce into the salad bowl, where you're going to mix up all the vegetables. And you do that by simply clicking on this picture and dragging it down here into the timeline. Right now, there's no sequences in your timeline. So this panel down here is the timeline panel and inside it we we create what's called sequences or solid bowls and we're going to drag and drop it right here and it'll automatically create a sequence that's exactly the right size you can see there's no bl black bars up here so that's the best way to do it and then up here is your salad plate where you're going to mix up everything now, as soon as you create a sequence, I like to go rename it. So I'm going to come over here because it'll call the, the sequence name, the exact same name as the video clip. And I think that's confusing. So I'm going to click once over here on the sequence that it just created. And I'm going to call it com promo sequence. And again, I'm going to walk you through how to do this. So don't get get nervous. I'll, I'll do this again for you step by step. Now, um, as you're going, you're going to, you know, find stuff and you're going to input set in points, set out points. And sometimes you're just going to want the video. So you're going to drag that down see that drag video only down. Sometimes you'll just want the 
audio. So let's say I want the sound of the river to be throughout the, the whole thing. I could just drag this down here and you could choose whether you want them on track A, uh, one, A2, A3. Those are all your audio tracks or V1, V2, V3. Those are all your video tracks. So you have complete control of where you're going to drag and drop that onto your sequence. And re remember when you're done mixing up all your vegetables up here, you're going to have the final product. Um, that's the basic editing workflow. So here we have our source monitor or cutting board. Here we have our timeline and inside the timeline panel are our sequences. That's where we mix things up. And over here is our program monitor and that's the finished product. When you export this, it'll look just like it does in the program monitor. So that's the basic editing workflow. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.